hey. Spring Lafay, Simple Tarot. Okay, Aquarius. I'm going to get you a um, major arcana for Aquarius, please, Spirit. Please, Spirit. May I please have the major arcana Aquarius needs to see? The message for Aquarius and me. Major arcana, please, Spirit. We have the one. It feels like there's one. Oh my goodness. Can you have it? Aha. Thank you. Okay. The sun. The sun is a card of happiness. A card of feeling very, um, oh my goodness. It feels young at heart. It feels a childlike happiness and just shining your light and letting yourself be seen. But on the bottom, we have the strength card. Now, those, those are the cards of Leo. So, you may be dealing with a Leo. I must say, some of you may be dealing with a Leo. I want to get a romance angel for this. And if you're not wanting romantic love, well, you know, we'll figure out this, you know, as we go. And uh, the reading may not be for you, or the reading could be for you. But, you know, such. Okay. Okay. Aquarius. You got heart to heart conversations. Honestly, discuss your feelings with each other and you got to free yourself. The time has come to take control of your life back. So, what is it that you need to free yourself from? Is this someone? Um, is there, you know, someone that you need to apologize to? Is there someone that you feel like needs to apologize to you? Um, is there someone you need to discuss something with? You need to really think about it. I feel like that you've got the sun card here because I feel like you're in a moment of bliss. You're in a moment of happiness. And, um, you know, there's something that's holding you back in some way. And you need to figure out what it is it's got to do with freeing yourself from something. Now, these are romance cards. But I feel like, I'm going to be honest, for some of you, it does, okay, we got heart to heart conversations and we got free yourself. It feels like for some of you, this is not romantic in nature. There's something that you need to free yourself from. That could be a situation. Uh, that could be a way of looking at things, a behavior, a pattern. Um, and then heart-to-heart -heart conversations. Well, you can have a heart-to-heart -heart conversation with anyone. So, yeah, this, is, this has got the feel that this could be for anyone, just to be honest. The message for Aquarius, please, Spirit. What does Aquarius need to know? For today or whenever. Judgment. Okay. Woo! Somebody wanting some love. We almost had the Ace of Cups come out. Okay. If you're holding on to um, anything where someone hurt you, you need to free yourself from that. That's what that feels like. Yeah. See, whoever I'm talking to, Okay. Judgment, you know, is about, well, I'm feeling like karma, but I'm also feeling like, um, you know, if you hold hold grudges because someone hurts you, or if you hold that hatred in your heart, how are you going to balance your life in order to have a new relationship? I mean, the one. Finding, finding that one, the perfect one, you know, the true love. See, this is a feeling like someone really needs to figure out how they can free themselves from the pain, the hurt, um, the hatred, the, um, you know, sadness, wondering, not knowing. Freeing yourself from all of that so that you bring forth that ace of cups into your life someone here it feels like and that yeah i'm gonna tell you i'm gonna be honest this doesn't have to be romantic this could be you know about friendship and about just wanting you know it could be even about family where you know relationships that went wrong and you like push everyone away you like you know you don't free yourself from the past and where it's you know keeping you stuck 
you know, this could be romantic, but it doesn't have to be. You know, you've got cups behind you. You've got love that's, that's there, whether it's romantic or not. You've got, you know, it's just you've got to see it. And you've got to free yourself so that you can feel it. It's almost like someone's bound to their heart. It's like they've wrapped it up in chains and they've locked it down tight. And, you know, but they won't. They won't. See, look. Look. You're being guided. Listen to it. I feel like you even know. You're going to feel this. You've got to override that hatred that someone has put into your heart. I'm talking to somebody in somebody individually right now. That's not for all of you. But for someone, you've got a lot of hatred in your heart because someone hurt you so badly. And, you know, a lot of it was just the deception. Just knowing that you loved them so much and they just, Stabbed you in the heart and left you to die. That's the way it feels. Um, you want that. Whether this was a, a romantic person, your love of your life, or this was a family member, or this was a friend, or this was a co-worker, you know, whichever, whatever it was, you want emotion within your relationships you want and if this was romantic you want to be smothered in love but you've got to heal what's broken or you've got to fix what you feel's broken it's 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 not that it's even broken it's just in your way of looking at it you, you're hurt so bad or you hold this this hatred i'm gonna tell you something right now too as an Aquarius, I'm an Aquarius sun. I'm, well, I've got a lot of Aquarius in me um, and Sagittarius. But the thing is, I used to hold grudges. Yeah. I don't do the do-over thing as far as if someone hurt me badly, you know. Um, Ex-husbands, it's not happening. It's not, you know, that's just the way that I, I, I feel about it. But, I'm going to tell you. Back when I was younger, I would. I would hold grudges. I, I, people hurt me, and I held on to it. But I'm going to tell you right now, whenever I learned to, to let go of that, it was very freeing and empowering. So that's what you need to do. Because you want the one that's going to give you that. That's what you're looking for. Even though you may feel like, hey, I'm not looking. Maybe you're not looking. But your heart wants it. See, I'm not looking, but I know what I want, and I have faith that it's coming. I have faith that the the, the man for me is coming, the one the the one that's mine, my true love. Yeah. So that that's basically what this is: is someone needs to release what's holding you back, free yourself from it, so that you can move, so you can make this chariot move. Toward your wish, wish come true. And you know. Oh my goodness. Okay. See. You've got someone that's going to want to come on your path. Or they're going to be crossing your path. Um, it's almost like. There's something of truth that's going to be told. For someone. And with this page of sword. This could be a stranger. This could be whoever. You could be at some sort of um, store, coffee, co <coughs> coffee shop or whatever. And it's like there's just a moment of something spoken that's truth. You know. Um, that could be that they give you some kind of compliment. You know. Um, nevertheless, they see you. They see you. You you make. Um, it's almost like this is going to be. Um, oh, this connection is going to be beautiful. See, this is a soulmate connection. 
you see that's why strength is here you got to have the strength to let go of what you need to let go of deal with what deal with that hurt inside heal it up yeah yeah this is gonna be strong and they're gonna feel it you're gonna you know you're gonna feel it strong connection oh yeah but you don't want to be concentrating on the past whenever the universe, God, hands this beautiful new beginning to you. They're going to be taking on a King of Cups energy. they got a lot to offer. they got a lot to offer. This is also someone who is very positive, I feel like, like you. It's a feeling like they're happy, you know. They're positive. Um, but I'm going to tell you, if you're still standing there where you feel so wounded, you know, you've been put through the mill, the ringer, uh, you've been run over by uh, that uh, thing that flattens the, the road. <laughs> if you're still there, how on earth you know, are you going to see anything when they offer you something? I also feel like that um, whomever I'm talking to, you've been working really hard on your uh, finances, your career, everything. I mean, you've, you've really been putting in the work all the way around. So this is, this is really beautiful, but you really need to heal. Okay, Aquarius strengths, please. Aquarius weaknesses. Aquarius weaknesses. Ah, okay. Okay, your weaknesses and your strengths. Okay, your strengths as of now is dedication and progress. So, and on the bottom we got justice, truth, and clarity. So I feel like that that's your strengths, you know. And the, the thing is, is you're very dedicated to moving your life forward but you got to be dedicated to healing completely and and you know dealing with the the pain that needs to be dealt with this within your heart so that you can love fully again um <clears throat> five of feathers strategy and resistance so see but look at that shield <laughs> you see the armadillo's got that shield on <clears throat> protection Okay, weakness, you got um, the hangman, patience, and perspective. So you need to look at things a whole lot different. You need to be more patient. That could be with your own self, too. Uh, you do need to stand back and just look at things differently. And make sure, you know, look at yourself differently. Look at what you've been through differently. Three of shells, uh, playfulness and bliss. So that tells me that you need to have more fun. You need to enjoy life more. Even though I feel like you're happy and it shows. I feel like you're glowing and it shows maybe you're not going out enough. Maybe you need to go to a coffee shop. Maybe you need to go out. Maybe you need to go out. That's That may be where you meet this person. <laughs> you got five of shells. Hope. Readjustment. So, see... Okay, you need to see the hope within things. You need to, it's it's almost a feeling like you know that the, that the one's coming, but you just, it's it's like when and how, when and how, when and how. It's, it's almost like faith, then lack, faith, then lack, faith, then lack. Um, you need to, to, for one, you need to keep your light shining bright because I feel like they're going to see it. Um, and for two, I feel like that you've got to keep your faith up. You've got to know this is going to happen, but you've got to do the healing. Okay, love. See, choice and trust. That's a weakness. It's almost like you're scared to trust someone. You're scared to trust someone with your heart again. You're afraid that they'll break it or they'll stab it. And that 
That right there, see I'm drawn to this right here. I'm drawn to this card right here. I keep seeing it looking at me. That is keeping you stuck in a place. Yeah. See, it's like wanting, wanting more, but not being able to feel like you could go through to get to it. Because you can't see clearly. That's funny how they're, yeah, making this deck come out to me here. You, you can't see clearly. It's, it's like you're, it, it, see, you got hurt and it, it's got you in a place of confusion and not knowing what to do and feeling like, well, how do I go on if I forgive that person? How could I forgive them? Well, I'm telling you, free yourself and forgive them. You know, by not forgiving them, all you're doing, honestly, is is putting you in a spot of um, just wanting but not, not having exactly what you want. You know, it's like um, waiting on it, wanting it, wanting it, wanting it, wondering whenever it's coming, but not actually seeing the sunrise, knowing that it is coming. And then... You let them steal your. You let them steal something from you. You see what I'm saying? It's almost like letting them win. Don't do that. I'm gonna tell you right now. Look here. They're showing it. Oh my god. Thank you. Yeah, with these cards that just got shuffled, you know. Look. Karma deals with it. You don't have to worry about anything. Honestly, I'm gonna be honest with you. Um. You 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 just need to just do you forgive this person. Karma has karma don't lose an address. You know, and I'm gonna be honest with you, people they've done me, you know, wrong and and I, I you know, I've got I've got my own karma for things I've done in my life. That's the way it works. You know, you, you either do good or you do wrong. You're gonna get good karma if you do good, you're gonna get bad karma if you don't. But I'm gonna tell you I, I, I wish everyone who has come into my life, um, everyone, even people who I felt like wronged me, I wish them well. And I pray for them. And I want them to have the very, very best from the bottom of my heart. You know, if, if I feel like someone wronged me, I want to be able to say I forgive them. That's freeing to me, and it's freeing to them I'm not and it and it's it's like a sense of not being tied to that person any longer I mean that's what it feels like to me um, and then for for anyone that I've, I've wronged or anyone that feels like I've wronged them I am sorry you know and you put that out let that feeling be out there so that you know it's a sense of um, forgiving yourself and forgiving others. You know, forgiving yourself for anything that you may have done wrong, taking ownership for anything that you may have done wrong, but also forgiving others for what they have done to you. And that is a sense of freeing, freeing yourself. That's the way I look at it. That's what I feel. That's my opinion. So, anyone don't agree with that, just, okay. That's my opinion. That's what I've got for you. Um, I'm going to take you a Moonology. Yeah. Well, we got you three of them. Look at there. Okay, and it makes so sense. See, okay. Uh, fixed moon. Hold your vision. You know what you want. New moon in Capricorn, your hard work is paying off. Feel so. And then we've got balsamic moon, a time for healing. So take care of it. Whatever needs to be taken care of, take care of it. Do it for you. You don't have to do it for anyone else. Do it for you. And, uh, yeah. Until next time. Mm-hmm.